Okay, okay, this video is to discuss hepatitis A virus. Okay, hepatitis A virus is an RNA bicornavirus. The big family is the hepatitis A virus, is a bicornavirus. Okay, so it is RNA virus and the commonest cause of viral hepatitis. So, the commonest cause of viral hepatitis is hepatitis A virus. Okay, all of cases of hepatitis A virus are acute infection there is no chronicity of hepatitis a virus no at all okay so if we ask you about hepatitis a virus percentage it is zero percent okay so we have no carrier state in this disease hepatitis a virus is self-limited in about in most of cases okay in about one per 1000 cases we have a fulminant liver disease and death and most of cases that have fulminant liver failure uh, are uh, chronic uh, are, are adult uh, elderly people okay so uh, the younger people will be less susceptible to have fulminant liver disease now hepatitis a virus actually is highly contagious one week before when uh, the time of contagiosity of the hepatitis A virus is one week before and one to two weeks after the presence of jaundice or the hepatitis A virus symptoms. Okay, so you can isolate the patient when you see the jaundice, but unfortunately, he still uh, have been contagious for one week before even the presence or of the jaundice okay and the jaundice of hepatitis a virus will last for about two four weeks okay so this is the uh, time of contagiosity of the hepatitis a virus what about the mode of transmission of hepatitis a it is a fecal oral transmission person to person transmission maybe by sharing water cups or food by ch sharing towels unprotected sexual intercourse or also may lead to hepatitis a virus person to person contact okay all may lead to uh, contagion the hepatitis a virus transmission okay so the route is fecal oral uh, transmission hepatitis a virus is about three weeks incubation so don't forget when it is contagious is when is when we have one to we two weeks after we have the jaundice and one week even before we have the jaundice because once the virus is in a stool it is contagious okay now let's move to the clinical presentation of the hepatitis a virus actually a lot of cases depends on the age on the younger children uh, the symptoms will be milder than in older children the younger children less than six years most of cases will present as usual gastroenteritis nothing more they they are non ictrous uh, and that mean uh, the children with hepatitis that are younger than six years will mostly have no jaundice okay it's just normal gastroenteritis okay maybe they will have abdominal pain fever low grade fever diarrhea fatigue okay and vomiting and vomiting so the abdominal symptoms the abdominal pain diarrhea fever fatigue and vomiting okay so the normal gastrointestine uh, enteritis symptoms but in older children more than 10 years and in adults okay we have more severe symptoms we have jaundice most of times it is icterus hepatitis we have persistent vomiting which is an indication to admit the patient we have a malaise and also the fever vomiting abdominal pain loss of appetite and so on and this is not only in older children the severe symptoms may be in older children maybe in immunocompromised patient and in previous or recurrent other liver disease all of these cases will mostly present with jaundice and more severe symptoms than in younger children okay so this is the clinical presentation remember 
the younger children will present as normal gastroenteritis when you do the liver function test it will be elevated so you suspect the uh, hepatitis a virus and by the igm examination will be true hepatitis a virus in all the children know they it will be icterous cases with jaundice most of cases okay now how to diagnose and investigate for hepatitis a virus actually serology is to diagnose hepatitis a virus for acute hepatitis a virus we will find anti hepatitis a virus igm okay igm for acute cases and it will last to four six months after the start of infection okay then the igm where it will be igg igg and this igg antibodies are the lifelong immunity of hepatitis a virus so once you have hepatitis a virus you will protect it uh, from having it another time in your life okay so due to the presence of igg antibodies the lifelong immunity for hepatitis a virus so the diagnosis by anti h a hepatitis a virus igm okay that will last for four to six months uh, nor the pcr neither the uh, stool antigen is diagnostic for or are diagnostic for hepatitis A virus. Only IgM is diagnostic. Actually, liver function tests will be increased. You have increase in ALT, AST for up to six months. Okay, pilrobin, of course, will be elevated also. In full blood count, you may see decrease in white cell counts. In serum, pilrobin will be increased, okay, due to the liver hepatitis and so on. Okay, so this uh, graph, is showing us uh, how the serology change with the time of hepatitis so during the incubation period almost no nothing can detect the hepatitis a virus when we start to have malaise okay uh, incubation period of about two to three weeks okay but when we start to have malaise and symptoms the liver function test will start to increase the serum alt will start to increase and about three and more weeks the igm the acute thing to indicate uh, hepatitis a virus will start to increase okay until it reaches the uh, top of it uh, about between the five and six weeks then it will start to decrease the igg the long life uh, immunity will start to increase between the fourth and fifth weeks okay then it will increase for uh, the life run so this is how to diagnose and investigate hepatitis A virus. Now let's move to the management of hepatitis A virus. Actually, we have no definite or uh, medical management for hepatitis A virus. All we can do is supportive treatment by giving vitamins, by giving fluids and good hydration. Sometimes they give uh, the children sweet to prevent the hypoglycemia that may happen uh, in fulminant liver failure okay so this is how to support the patient with hepatitis a virus vitamin and fluid administration okay when to admit the patient with hepatitis a virus actually admission of patient uh, with hepatitis a virus is when he has Persistent vomiting, as I told you, persistent vomiting is an important indication for admission in hepatitis A virus. Signs of liver failure. How to know if we have liver failure? Signs of liver failure, like, just like PT and INR. Okay, not pilopin or ALT, because pilopin, the ALT, in every case of hepatitis A virus will be elevated, okay, almost always. But PT and INR are an indicators of the liver failure that may happen in hepatitis a virus okay so uh, these are the two indications to admit the persistent vomiting the signs of liver failure like pt and inr and the third one is hepato 
encephalopathy, hepatoencephalopathy. Actually, we have four stages of hepatoencephalopathy. First stage is when you have behavioral and sleeping disturbances. Okay, so this is the first stage. Second stage will be change in consciousness, like slurred speech and other things. You will notice that there's changing in uh, con level of consciousness in the child. Okay, the third stage we have hysteraxis and hyperflexia. The fourth stage, the end stage, they have coma, decerebrate. Okay, so most of patients that will have fulminant liver failure and hepatoencephalopathy will uh, pass. Okay, so this is how supportive treatment is when to admit the patient and now, and to actually, we admit the patient. Uh, to monitor the liver function test to uh, and the, for this okay how to prevent the uh, hepatitis the most important thing to do is hand watching very important to prevent uh, hepatitis a virus okay uh, isolation of uh, the child that is affected and told you that it is infectious one week before and one to two weeks after the happening of jaundice and the jaundice will last for two to four weeks okay so you have to isolate the child prevent his friends from having water from the same cup okay or eat from his uh, spoon and so on okay and vaccination now there is a vaccination for hepatitis a virus it is two doses okay at one year and the second dose will be six to twelve months after the first those and actually it will give uh, the patient about 20 to 30 uh, years of uh, prevention of hepatitis a and possibly for the rest of his life okay so we have vaccination sorry for hepatitis a virus so this is the hepatitis a virus the definition the infectio uh, infectiosity of the hepatitis A, the clinical presentation depending on the age and younger and older children, the diagnosis and investigation, the IgM is the most important, okay, and the management of hepatitis A virus, the supportive treatment when to admit the patient, we have persistent vomiting, signs of liver failure, hepatoencephalopathy, and how to prevent the disease. Okay, I will left you with this funny video. So thank you very much for watching, see you in the next video completing our subject on chronic viral hepatitis and chronic liver disease.